shit. But genuinely, the guy is not only an inspiration, but a lovely guy, and has put out incredible, incredible music over the years. Welcome to Detroit, The Shining, etc., etc. Want to speak to the people? Despite his good looks, he's a little bit shy, so bear with him. The other person I would like to introduce you all to tonight is someone without whom literally none of us would be here. This wouldn't be happening. And I would like you all, every last one of you in your, this room, to put your hands in the air, clap them as loudly as possible, whoop and holler, for Dilla's mum, Marjorie, she's in the house. I've been blessed through doing these events the last few years to get to know Maureen very well. And it's always a pleasure to have you here in London. We're always blessed by your presence and we can't thank you enough for coming out and representing for us. Ladies and gentlemen, Marjuk's Maureen Nelson. This club holds such a treasure of memories and a vibe that I can never capture anywhere because you know how Dilla rocked that stage on his last tour. It means everything. I, I looked out and the way that you greeted him when he came in that door with that wheelchair, is, it plays over my mind whenever I think about it. And Jazz Cafe will always be that special place. To see my son who was not able to do anything but create with his hands in that wheelchair, and that wheelchair was rocking, so to the end of the stage, I was behind him and scared, scared to death about what was gonna happen, but it was meant for him to share that memory with us. That's where I first saw the shirt Jay Dilla changed my life, <laughs> standing in that corner, and uh, cried. we cried so hard after the event. It meant so much to him. But you guys mean so much to me, and it's because of your dedication to Dilla, the music, and your heart, and your love that you share continuously, that he was able to <coughs> be able to be inducted in the Smithsonian Institute. It's because of your love and encouragement and letting the world know that you believed in what he did, that he is in a place of history that they cannot take away from him. And Continue to do what you do because you don't know where your next Dilla is. You don't know what age they are. Right now, the foundation is, is uh, we're spearheading things and bringing young people in. I think most of you probably, if you follow Facebook, know that we have a 10 year old uh, DJ, DJ Cool Flash, that's opened up for many, many artists and recently had a show at. Um, Gee, Lincoln Center, she had a show at, what hell did she have a show at? She opened for the Broccoli Festival for Erica Badu. She's, she's played and hosted for Smith & Wesson. Many, many more. She is, I mean, it's no level, no ceiling over her head, and she's 10. And, uh, but she has, she's naturally gifted because her parents allow her to be that person that she was sent here to be. And we all have that gift, but we just have to nurture it. We can't walk away from it. You offer special gifts. I know you do. And I just thank you so much for the love that you give me, that you share. Thank you. Give it up for my Dukes, everybody. 
Listen, my man Pete BBE, he has a very part, a very important part in the whole Jay Dilla story as well. So you want to make sure Pete say a few words and just greet the crowd from London, from London Zone. Let's go, Pete. Come on, talk to them. I'm trying to say a few things, I'm not a very good public speaker, so I'm going to look down on the floor. <laughs> In about 1999, uh, Kenny Doe sent to me, um, you've got to do a record with Dilla. Um, the Slum Village were actually doing a show at Subterranea in West London. Yeah. So I went over with a few BBE records and I was like, I need to, you to do an album for me. I had no idea how I was going to do it, but I just went up to him and I said, I'd love you to do a record for me. And he said yes. Um, went back with his manager, Tim Maynard at the time, went to a hotel in Tottenham Court Road, spoke, signed a, an agreement the next day. Three months later, the, the record was done. And in that time I went to Detroit, met Maureen, um, we talked, and we, you know, they delivered, Played me some bits from the record, and my mind was absolutely blown away. We drove around Detroit, and I saw a sign, and I thought, "Why don't we call a record Welcome to Detroit?" And he said, "Yeah, let's do that." So, <laughs> that was that. Um, later on, when Dylan moved out to LA, um, again Maureen and Dylan turned up, turned up to the hotel. Um, fortunately, under different circumstances, um, and it was a bit of an emotional time because my dad also suffered from lupus. So we talked about Dylan's diet, what he needed to change about his life. Um, unfortunately, as many of you know, it didn't. My dad's still alive, thankfully, and um, it's a very serious disease. And um, if anyone has any money to donate to the foundation, please do. I still wraps me up so deeply talking about this whole situation because I've never really been able, be, been able to overcome it. And um, I know how Maureen feels. And, um, you know, she said to me today, I was like Dilla's brother and he really cared about me because I was the only person that told him, just do what you want on the record, no pressure, just give me what you can whether it was Brazilian, whether it was hip hop, whether it was live, whatever, even in. So, yeah. Forever grateful for the moment. And um, you know, for several years I run a club in Baramba called Bubbly Nova on a Sunday night and I'll be in hip hop night. And um, Dilla would just call me up and just come and hang out. Like for a weekend fly in on a Sunday, go buy records and then return back home. But we remain, we remain very good friends until the end. But yeah, thanks for coming, supporting, and uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Y'all want to give it up, London? Give it up for Big Baby and my dude. No, 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 London, London. Y'all know. There's hundreds of people that want to be here with you all tonight and my dukes and they outside or they gone somewhere else but they couldn't be here so on the count of three only make some noise this is Jay Dilla tribute we doing the thing in London City want people in Detroit to hear us so on the count of three give it up for our peoples in here one two three scream <laughs> Right now, I want everybody to raise their J's in the sky. Give it up for all the DJs, all the MCs, all the people who've been on the inside thus far. My man Spin Doctor has been putting this thing together for a number of years now. He's gonna be doing a little AV set. So it doesn't mean that you gotta watch the screen only. We're gonna keep partying for Jay Dilla, for James. Right? Put your J's up, Spin, let's go. It's amazing, you know, how could we lose you know, Biggie, Pac, you know, Dilla, Steve Jobs, Michael Jackson, and you know, it'll always make you feel like the devil's winning. You know, you, you gotta make music when you think like if Dilla was alive and you like this. Like I have to work on behalf of Dilla. You know, it's, it's, it's 